what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard now this go around it's been a minute since i've looked at this uh bottom live the stage show um i'd plan on doing this a lot sooner like getting back to it a lot sooner so i'm gonna take and start doing 15 20 minute portions of this once a week until we get finished with it and then we'll take move on to uh the next uh or the second bottom live what the, the paradiso or whatever uh the yeah where they're stranded on desert island that one so I really enjoy the show, but it, it's interesting to see them act things out on stage. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Eddie, you've been on that page long enough. <laughs> Haven't quite finished reading it yet. <sighs> yes, there's not really that much to read on it, is huh. there? <laughs> oh, sugar! Oh, 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 dear! I've really got to get to the lavatory really very, very quickly! Oh, no, Eddie, don't go! Oh, don't, well, look, can I have it after you? I don't think you'll want it when I've finished with it. <laughs> oh, right. It's just a, <laughs> the picture on the front of that page. Uh -huh. I can't imagine why he's got to run to the bathroom all of a sudden. He might take and play like he's going to the bathroom, but... Shit. <laughs> right. Where's the fashion page of the Observer? <laughs> yeah. There's normally some bit of totty kicking her legs up in the middle of a roundabout in Paris wearing a see-through blouse, you know. Poking her nipples into some poor peasant's ear while he jabs at her hindquarters with a dripping baguette. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir, these are classy birds, mate. Classy. None of your hunchback, toothless, moonlighting dinner ladies you get in Eddie's rag. <laughs> no, sir, these birds will swallow the lot and then read you a bit of John Paul Sartre. <laughs> That's what I call class. <laughs> oh, here we are. <laughs> oh, looks. Hurrah for the new long hemline. Oh, what a waste of a perfectly good bird. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't know what the world's coming to. I really don't. Um, uh, oh, I'll have a look in the travel section. Might be a bit of bikini action. Oh, oh that's better. <laughs> And a picture of Sue Carpenter? But, no, no, look, look, look. Eddie Western Supermare. <gasps> Western Supermare. <laughs> oh, look, there's the pier. That's the hotel. So it is. It's incredible. Still standing. <laughs> uh, hey, not like that hotel we stayed in in Scarborough. No. <laughs> I warned you about that paella, didn't I? <laughs> Western Supermare. <sighs> hey. Western Supermare, eh? <laughs> Western Supermare. Oh, you lost me there. Come on, Western Supermare! <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, me old pal, I had some bloody narrow squeaks in Western Supermare. <laughs> squeaks? You told me that holiday was going to be a two-week blistering sex rampage. It's Western Supermare, Eddie, you said. Western Super Mare! Sex Rampage? I've had bigger stiffies watching Playbus. Did you just hear the letterbox flapping? We don't normally get post on a Sunday, do we? No. What time is it? Turn on the telly. <clears throat> Is it? Ah! No! It's Richard and Judy! Quick, Eddie, quick! Go and get your service revolver! Oh, oh Christ, Richard and Judy! Quick, Eddie, she's smiling! Hurry, Eddie, hurry! Roy fucking car 
muscles coming on. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> the hell is so bad they got to take and shoot a damn TV. Oh my goodness. That kind of reaction. What the hell? On a minute. If it's Richard and Judy, then it, it must be Monday. <gasps> Bloody hell, Eddie. That was a bit of a lock in, wasn't it? <laughs> Two bloody nights drinking. Bloody yeah! Way the lads! <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, way the lads! Yeah, I thought that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> They're over the top way they bring everything out, dude. It's just too funny. Oh my god. God, Eddie, you're such a southerner, aren't you? Us Geordies say it all the time. Way the lads! Had away under shite! <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll repeat it. What the fuck? <laughs> what <does it> mean? <laughs> Way the lads! Well, it means, uh, it means, uh, They don't know. Uh, it means, uh, come on, everyone, let's weigh all the lads. <laughs> Hello, my name's Richard, I'm 13 and a half stone. And, uh, what about you, uh, Spender? <sighs> Front door, Eddie. Hurry along. And why me? Well, because if it's a mob of crack-crazed football enthusiasts hell-bent on buggering the living daylights out of posh householders in a nice district like this, they're likely to think twice when confronted by the whiff of Cro-Magnon Man. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the whiff of Cro-Magnon... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wonder what the fuck that meant. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded pretty good, though. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Just an aside. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I told you before. I love they're breaking the third wall. Like, that's... Or the fourth wall. Hello? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, fourth wall. I told you before. You don't talk to the ordinary people. Yeah, all right, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a fight you want, is it? <laughs> Are you okay? Who on earth was it? It was the fucking postman! <laughs> Every day the same! Every day he comes round! What does he want? Claims he was delivering the mail! Oh yeah! You got any proof? A parcel and some letters! Oh yeah! And who were they addressed to? Us! Us! And who does he think we are? Yeah. Probably the people the letters are addressed to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, well. Oh, my well, God. Let's not fuck with him anymore. <laughs> I didn't know you were fucking him. I didn't know you were fucking him. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. These cats are a hoot. Yes, sir or madam. Beg your pardon. <laughs> Get my solicitor on the phone immediately. I'm not suffering a slur like that. It was just a dodgy batch of hormone replacement tablets, that's all. <laughs> they have gone down now, haven't they? <laughs> I'm not thinking about the breast enlargement accident. Who is it? Oh, phew. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. Oh, shit. You have been personally selected by our computer. Ooh. <laughs> to take part in this once in a lifetime opportunity to send us a check for 55 pounds. Wow. Go on. No, that's it. I mean, that's it. How do they expect to get away with that? What's the name of the company? Uh, 
E. Hitler, Cash Quick Enterprises. <laughs> Next, Roddy <clears throat> Letter. Ooh, now this one looks like it's from some solicitors. What? <sighs> Shit, Eddie, don't touch it! <gasps> Too late! <laughs> the dubs are already on it. Oh, Christ, oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Right. Uh, get, get the Bible and the crucifix. Right. I'll make a pentangle of salt. And uh, No, call the estate agents. We're going to have to move house. No, wipe all the surfaces. Remove all the evidence we were ever here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's not about the pet shop, is it? I told you my trousers fell open. <laughs> I accidentally slept on some hamster food and my penis inadvertently entered the goldfish tank. <laughs> Too late! I've accidentally opened it! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh blimey! Let's go to the lamby for a couple of days, Eddie. Bro. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck it. Shotgun, bastard, and dribble. <laughs> Lawyers. For the attention of Richard Richard. <laughs> Owing to the unfortunate demise of your great uncle Norman. Blah, 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 blah. Full stop. Diddly do, 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 diddly do. Come. Blimey, there are some bollocks, these lawyers, don't they? Blah, 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 15,000 pounds. <laughs> 15,000 pounds. Why down the middle of the toilet? <laughs> because of the world health crisis. And what exactly do you mean by that? You can catch it off lavatory seats. Catch what? An anus full of razor wire? <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. I mean, have you got a full sexual history of everyone you've ever slept with? Hmm? Yes, I have, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I've got it right here. On me. There. It's a very small piece of paper, isn't it? Oh, Eddie, don't be so judgmental. It's quality that counts, not quantity. And it's blank. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a devastatingly accurate report. I wish I'd never commissioned it now. I employed a <laughs> private investigator. Three weeks he took. Three whole weeks. All he did was stand around in the garden all day looking at my hedge. Then four days later I found out he was a privet investigator. <laughs> to get that typewriter fixed. <laughs> anyway, you can come off your high horse. What about your sexual history? I have got nothing to hide. No, not after three pints you haven't, no. <laughs> no glug, glug, glug. Ooh, look, Eddie, there's Ethel Cardew. Yeah, Ethel Cardew. And it's down with the trousers and out with the spotlight, isn't it? <laughs> We've thrown out of many a good snug because of your knob impressions, haven't we? We've seen them all. Big Ben, Zulu's at dawn, <laughs> Churchill looking startled. <laughs> well, it's what I call safe sex. It's not what the police called it. They called it incitement to riot. <laughs> anyway, enough of that bollocks, Eddie. Tell me the worst. <laughs> what did the solicitors want? Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 uh. Ooh, blimey! Now, that's an interesting-looking package. Why, thank you, Eddie. <laughs> I'm in the 
parcel on the table. Huh? <laughs> you didn't tell me there was a parcel. Oh, oh fantastic! Oh, that's great. I love surprises. Ha, ha, ha. What did you do that for? It was a surprise. <laughs> Didn't you like it? You're always kicking me in the knackers. Where's the surprise in that? <laughs> Used the other foot. Pass <laughs> the pliers, would you? I think I need to dislodge a couple of items. <laughs> Thanks for your pal. Dislodged them. <laughs> Their version of the violent slapstick comedy. Oh my god, the physical nature of it. And, and the way they just they, everything's so over the top and it, it just beautiful to watch. That's all I can say. It's beautiful to watch. It's so it's so funny. It, it's because <laughs> these two they're so self-deprecating. They take and they piss all over each other, basically, and then <laughs> oh my god, just I love this. I absolutely love it. I'll see. What? Bloody right. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, but it's fatty footwork, eh? <laughs> oh shit, dude. Oh, pack it in, pack it in. We're too old for this. Oh, look at me sweating like I've been masturbating for a month. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, well, you have, haven't you? <laughs> Well, yeah, but it's been a long tour, hasn't it? <laughs> Bro. Oh, my God. They're, they're too funny. I say, it's a bloody good job these towels were here, wasn't yeah. it? Cracking bit of luck. <sighs> you all right? I, I actually hit you on the nose then, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's OK. I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Where the fuck are we? <laughs> oh, Eddie, Eddie, why does everything we do have to degenerate into mindless violence? <laughs> because that's the way we like it. Yes, I suppose you're right, you insane old git. Come on, let's shake and make up. Great <laughs> guy. <laughs> Let's open up the parcel, see what we've got. No! Oh, bollocks! <laughs> They're actually awfully big ones. <laughs> no, it's, it's the wrong address. Oh. This is for a professor. Richard Muck Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Trafficking Terrace Young Ladies Hospital. <laughs> Research Department. Please rush my love item to me. <laughs> I am over 18. <laughs> oh, bugger, and it looks so damnedly intriguing. <sighs> you all right, Richie? What? Yeah, yeah, just trying to think fast, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> the faces work. they make, too, man. The faces they make just... Oh, my God. Too funny. Uh, oh. 
Read me that name again, would you, Andy? Uh, Professor Richard Muck. Richard, yes, of course, I'm being stupid. <laughs> surprise me. <laughs> what? I said, surprise me. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> My testicles. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, Professor Richard Muck. Richard. Yeah. Yes, now then, he's my uh, Scottish relative, you know. Oh, yes. yes. And he's a professor, you see, and he asked me to look after some items of, uh, of a medical nature <laughs> for him while he's away in... Uh, uh, oh, me, gummy, gummy, gum, gum, gum land. <laughs> right, I'd better just uh, open it up and check that it's all there. Yeah, that all seems to be in order. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, uh, is that the time? Do you know, I think I'll turn in early tonight, Eddie. <laughs> what do you mean, it's only half past ten in the morning? Oh, stop being so pedantic. We've only just found out it's Monday, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right, oh, nighty night, Eddie. See you in the morning. If I've still got the power of sight. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry for that little bit of interruption there. Righto, nighty night, Eddie. See you in the morning. If I've still got the power of sight. <laughs> Good. It's gone. Richard and the 15 grand that's owing. Yes, well, I was just wondering, um, if something should happen to Richard, uh, yeah, I mean, nothing serious, you know, just should he, uh, stop living <laughs> for a while, <laughs> who would the 15 grand that's owed pass on to? I see, the next of kin. Now, is that a sort of blood relative? Or could it be your kind of best drinking buddy of a Saturday night kind of guy? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Where do you get to be next of kin then? Yes, marriage. Yeah. Or adoption. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, well, thank you very much, Mr. Bastard, and uh, good morning. <laughs> My name? Uh, uh, J. R. Hartley. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to leave it off there. We're going to pick it back up next week. I know, I know. We've got two hours worth. That's going to be quite a few videos. But yeah. That means I love this stuff. I, I love the show is absolutely laugh riot. The way they take and incorporate slapstick into their stuff, like the hyper violent type stuff, but it's <clears throat> between that and self deprecating and the jokes on each other and just the misadventures that they take and have, and that we're already getting set up for a nice little misadventure or a couple of them. Um, just yeah, I can't wait to see what the rest of it is. That being said, y'all be good to each other, love yourselves.